Hello everyone, welcome to the video guide for the Da Vinci Sketch Photoshop Action. Well, this video is for the updated version of the Action which is version 1.2 and if you are by any chance having an older version of the Action, please check out the older video, you can find the link in the description section. Now before we jump into the details, I'll quickly scroll through the examples. But if you already have the action and you are here for the updates only, please feel free to skip ahead with the timestamps below. In case you are new here, I would highly encourage you to stay and I'll show you what this Photoshop action can do for you. So for this Photoshop action, you just need to open your image and you mark the subject area, the main area where you want the effect to apply and once you run the action, you get something like this. Now you have options to switch between various paper textures. You can do that at any point of time after you run the action. Let's view some more examples. This is the subject area marked out and this is the Da Vinci sketch final effect. You have lots of options like different hatching elements, different geometric and different scribble elements which you can customize at any point of time. Here is another example. Alright, let's go back into Photoshop and let's have a look on the updates. So the updated version is version 1.2 and you should look for that 1.2 version to be sure that you are using the updated version. Now the updates here are that this Photoshop action works with any language of Photoshop. The previous one used to work only with English version, but this will work with any language of Photoshop. Next, you do not need to have any initial naming like background or subject. In the previous version, you had to rename the main image as background and you had to rename the subject layer as subject, but everything is done here automatically. So you can just relax and the Photoshop action will handle the rest. Next, this updated version will also change the color profile to RGB, which is required for the action to run correctly. Okay, so let's load up our image. And before we start, we have to take care of few things. First, go to image mode and make sure RGB color and 8 bits per channel is selected. Although RGB will be converted by the action itself, but make sure it's selected. Then click this flyout menu over here and go to panel options and make sure use default masks on fill layers is checked and also add copy to copy layers and groups is checked. These two options must be checked for the action to work correctly. Now again, let's go to the image and let's go to image size. Here I just recommend that you keep your smaller axis in the range of 2500 to 4000 pixels. So in this case, since it's a landscape image, the height is the smaller side. So I'll just increase it to around 2500 pixels for the action to give the best results. You can keep the resolution to 300 if you plan to print or if you're using it for web purposes, you can change it to 72. But I shall keep it 300 over here and let's click OK. And one most important thing is go to your brush tool and make sure mode is set to normal, opacity is set to 100% and flow is set to 100%. These three parameters must be set like this for the action to work correctly. With these things done, let's load up our action. It's very simple. Simply go to file, open and locate your download package. It should be the main files or however it's named. Make sure it's also having that version 1.2 so that you are sure that you are using the updated version of the action. And over there, you will see these files. One is install files inside. The other one is paper texture, which has all the different paper textures provided with the pack. And next is a help file, which you can refer at any point of time. But go inside this install files inside and select the action file, the pattern file, and the brush file according to your Photoshop version. So there are two brush files. One is for Photoshop version CS6 and previous versions. And there is another one for Photoshop CC and newer version. So I'm using Photoshop CC 2021. So I'll select the top one with all the three files selected. I'll simply press open and Photoshop will load them into itself. 
Let's open our actions panel, go to window actions. And here you can see that the action has been loaded into the actions panel. Here also confirm that you're using the version 1.2 and you can also check that the brushes have loaded correctly over here. The DaVinci sketch brushes have been loaded. And if you also go to patterns, you will see that the pattern file has also been loaded. All right, now it's time to create the subject layer. Just create a new layer above your main image and here you need to mark out the main subject area. You can do this in any way you feel easy for you. Like you can take a brush, take any color and you can paint, but you can also do this like you can select the main layer and you can select your quick selection tool or magic wand tool, whatever you feel like. And you can select out the main subject over here. But since I'm using latest version of Photoshop, so I'll take advantage of the subject selection tool. So I'll simply go to select and hit subject and let's see what Photoshop does for me. It did a pretty good job, but I need to fine tune the selection. So I'll quickly do that and come back when it's done. Now with the selection done, I'll quickly simply fill it with any color. Let's deselect the selection and we're ready to go. Once again, make sure your brush opacity and flow is set to 100% and mode is set to normal. Bring up the actions panel, select the action, not the action set, select the action itself and hit play. It should take some time for the action to finish. We'll fast forward from here and get back when it's done. So somewhere in the middle, you will get a prompt like this, where it says in the next step, you need to manually add the vintage paper texture. A new browse window will open and from there, select any one of the 15 paper textures provided. Select texture and click place. After the texture gets added into Photoshop, you can adjust the size by dragging the corner nodes. When done, press enter or return or click the tick button on the top toolbar to resume the action playback. And for now, press continue to proceed. So once we click continue, it opens up a browse window over here. I'll simply go inside this paper textures, which is provided. I'll select one of the paper texture and click place. You can see it's added into Photoshop. I'll simply realign it. You can unlink this maintain aspect ratio icon if you want to fill it properly with your canvas. Once done, I'll click this tick mark to resume the action playback. So the action has finished processing and here we are greeted with the final confirmation message that the Da Vinci sketch Photoshop action has rendered successfully. It might happen that sometimes the sketch or drawing area exceeds a certain paper area that you have selected. In that case with color black, you can brush over the layer mask of the group main image elements, which is marked in violet to remove the areas outside the margin. The color and the brush and the group is selected you can simply go ahead and paint to remove the unwanted areas you can also try and place other paper textures you can simply add them into the red group which says place paper texture inside this group and it also says to go through this video tutorial for a better understanding so let's click stop and what it says is to brush away the areas which went beyond the paper margin like you can see that i have added a paper which is like torn around the edges and some areas have gone out so the brush is selected the color black is also selected and the layer mask for the main image elements is selected i can simply brush to remove these unwanted areas just like this And over here, you can also try different paper textures. Like you can select the place paper. You can simply toggle this eyeball icon to hide it. Next, go to the paper textures and select a different paper texture and place it and adjust it just like this. Now let's go ahead and see what elements are generated by the action. First, we have our base color. You can double click to change the base color if you want. I'll keep it white for now and this is the main image elements and here we have the geometric elements, the script elements, the hatching elements and the outline elements. So each one of these groups also have a layer mask so you can simply select the layer mask, take a brush, color black and paint away any unwanted areas that you want to hide or remove. Also you can expand the group and you can control the individual elements 
you can simply select one of the layers you can take your move tool and you can simply move them around just like this All the elements are generated at random by the action so you can align them and place them according to what looks good to you. You can also paint on the layer mask of these individual layers to hide any areas that you want. Same goes for the script elements. You can move around these individual elements or you can also resize them if you want. You can Simply press Ctrl T or Command T on the keyboard to bring up your free transform tool and you can scale and rotate and resize them any way you feel like. Then we have the hatching elements. Here also you can toggle the visibility of any of the items. If you want to intensify any of the hatching, you can simply right click on that layer and select duplicate layer. As you can see, the hatching intensifies. You can also paint on the layer mask of the hatchings if you want to hide any areas, just like this. Or you can paint on the layer mask of the group itself if you want to hide all the hatchings at once at any specific place that you want, like this. Then we have the outline elements. Here we have different intensities of the line drawing. You can control the visibility of any of the layers. You can also paint on the layer mask with black if you want to hide any areas as before. Then we have the tone adjustments and this tone adjustment works for the sketching areas only. You can increase the brightness or contrast over here if you want. And then we come into the five pen colors. Here you can simply toggle any one of these colors that are provided by clicking this eyeball icon. We already covered this paper texture folder and then we'll go inside this additional and default adjustments. So here we have this original color overlay. You can simply turn it on to enable the original color of the image. You can also click on the layer mask and you can take any brush. I'm taking a soft round brush this time and let's take color black and you can brush away any areas of the colors that you don't want. Just like this. Next we have the default levels. It's advisable to keep it as it is. Then we come into the 10 color effects. These are 10 predefined presets. You can simply click on this eyeball icon to show them and apply your favorite effect. Here we have some overall adjustments. You can change the levels from this overall levels. You can adjust the overall brightness or contrast. You can also modify any gradient map overlay if you want to add from here. Then we have our overall curves. And we have our overall hue saturation. And since the elements are generated at random, every time you run the action, you will have a different results with the scribbles and the scripts. So you can simply delete this group and you can once again run the action and you might end up with a different result. So that's all for the DaVinci Sketch Photoshop action. I hope you like it. And if you like my actions, feel free to check my portfolio. You can find the link in the description sections. I have lots of artistic Photoshop actions, which might be helpful to you. Well then, I'll see you in my next video. And till then, happy creating.